Hey guys, hope you are doing well today. Um, my task, my task today is not really a sermon. It's probably not going to be as long as my usual sermons. Um, I will be on my regular Sunday schedule next week. Um, my two week hiatus from Sunday sermons will be over. And I will be back next week Sunday around like 8, 8.30, quarter to 9, somewhere like that. Um, anyway, the Lord wants me to say to say to you, uh, well done. Well done to every mom that has stood for years praying for their children. Well done to every factory worker who has toiled and who has... Um, stood, um, who has toiled and who has worked in unimaginable conditions to make the, to make the stuff that we, uh, take for granted. Well done to everyone, uh, with a disability who has stood through all their challenges, all their mess, dealing with people who don't understand you, um, Especially if you're nonverbal, I I know from friends I have sometimes being nonverbal is so hard because you have so much to say, but sometimes people don't understand you. So well done for standing through that. Well done to every preacher who was who has preached online. Uh, throughout this pandemic, um, who has preached in empty rooms, who has preached from their living rooms, who has uh, taught online, who has, who have rallied their teams, and uh, well done to all those people. Well done to everyone who is, who has overcome challenges and who has done all kinds of things through this, who has stood and who has keep persever persevering. I want to say that the, Lord, that the Lord says he sees you, he loves you, and well done. Um, quite often, we, the the people in our lives, we forget to say how much we appreciate them. I know I do, and we all do. We kind of take them for granted. So take some time today to appreciate our loved ones, because believe it or not, they may seem strong, but they need it. Appreciate your pastors. Appreciate your moms. Appreciate your brothers. Appreciate your sisters. Appreciate your children. Because believe it or not, we all need to feel appreciated. Um, I was uh, uh, saying on a video to someone privately the other day, I said, there are four things that people, that everybody wants. Um, first thing is to be seen and to be heard, to be valued, and to be loved. And so, like, everything that everybody, everybody does in life, almost everything, falls under one of those four categories. So if you can give that to a person, uh, you've given them all all they've needed and all the material stuff is is an outpouring of that so do you see me do you hear me do you value me and do you love me that's all we as human beings want to know or what we want to know usually comes under one of those three categories and one of those four categories and that's what all we're searching for 
that's why we put up pictures for for likes and comments and do all kinds of strange things to impress people because we're looking for one of one or all of those four things. Uh, we are searching for them and some of us will die for them. And the Lord is saying, you don't need those four things from people. And I'm sa he, he's saying to you right now, well done. You've toiled, you've prayed, you've fasted, you've, you've sacrificed, you've, you've homeschooled your kids when you don't know what you're doing, you know. And the Lord just wants to say, well done. And he sees you. He sees you and he values your contribution. He values your contrib contribution to your kids. He values your contribution to your church, online or otherwise. He values your contribution to your friends and to your family. He values your contribution to whatever you're contribute contributing to and your labor will not be in vain I'll say that again your labor will not be in vain and he just wants me to tell you well done well done and thank you we often say we often thank the Lord but today he wants to say Thank you for not quitting. Thank you for staying. Thank you for standing strong when it was hard. Thank you, fathers, for being there for your children. Thank you, fathers, um, for, despite your mistakes, just being there and still standing strong. Uh, thank you, mothers, for just for just mothering us and sheltering us and being um, lionesses on our behalf. Thank you, preachers, for preaching the word in season and out of season. Even when you didn't know you were gonna, if you were going to make it, you didn't know if you could pay the church rent because there was no money coming in. Um, but you, but despite all of that you preached despite if you couldn't preach in your building you went online although you didn't know how, what you were doing and you preached and even if you did know what you were doing it took a whole new strategic kind of thing to do it on the level that you had to do it and he says thank you for doing it and thank you for not giving up thank you for staying in the fight so uh, we often talk about don't quit and don't give up and that is still true however today's sermon is is saying thank you for not quitting thank you for not giving up it is worth it we do see you we do appreciate you how you mother, how you love us, how you value us. And usually the, the things that mean the most are not, are not seen. So if you feel not seen, not loved, not valued, um, not heard, I want to tell you that that's because God has put in in you a secret weapon that he he in due season will expose and just to keep on going and, and he wants to say thank you for doing what you're doing thank you for standing where people when people have fallen thank you for for just being who you are and not and not falling to temptation thank you for being a faithful husband thank you for being a wife that is that stood 
thank you for being a child who, a teen who, despite everything, was determined to do what's right. We don't thank those who stay very often. So this sermon is just to say, well done. Have a great day. Bye. And remember to appreciate those around you today. Um, Remember to tell them thank you. Remember to tell them that they're valued. Remember to tell them that they're seen, that they're heard, and that you love them. Because we all need to hear that no matter how strong you think the person is, no matter how independent you think they are, no matter how they shy away from hearing it, they need to hear it. So don't be afraid to even tell them. I I would dare you right now to send a Facebook message to someone and say, someone who has influenced your life in a great way to say thank you. Thank you for standing. Thank you for being my mom. Thank you for just standing and striving with me. Thank you for not giving up on me. There, there There are some of you who have um, um, had difficult childhoods and your mother, uh, your parents, your family has stood with you even though you put them through hell. Tell that person thank you. Tell that person thank you for sticking with me. Appreciate that person. Because appreciate, because appreciation could unlock so much in that person. Thankfulness could unlock so much in that person. Just remember to appreciate someone today. Thank you. See you next week, Sunday. Bye. I'm going to sing you guys out today. I'm going to sing a song called Thank You For Staying. And some of the words will be different in the chorus. But this is what the Lord was saying to me this week. Here we go. When a shooting star falls, all the world looks in awe. It seems so amazing. But falling stars don't shine. They have no place in the sky. They forget about the one still hanging. Falling is easy, but standing takes strength. You have remained my star, and I want to thank you for staying and not leaving, for never taking the e. Easy well for loving and always showing me what being my child is all about. You never left me though you could. 
And just like a brother, you have said, you who you are to day be. Cause you stayed for love. And God wants to thank you for staying and not leaving, for never taking the easy way out, for loving and Always showing him what being his child is all about. It's been so hard for some of us as Christians, but he wants to thank us for standing, although we could have quit where so many people have and so many people have dropped away and did their own thing, but uh, he wants to thank those of us who stayed with him and those of us who were willing to grow through our pain and our peril when we couldn't pay our bills. We still worship, we still preached, we still prayed, we still fasted. And today he wants to say, well done, and thank you. So guys, I will see you next week. Bye. And and he wants to thank you for staying and not leaving. For never taking the easy way out, for loving and always showing him what being his child is all about.